In this video, I will tell you how to achieve epic renders like these. No matter how bad you are, this is the ultimate guide for you. I am going to explain camera angles, focal length, atmosphere, depth of field, lighting, and I will break down these three scenes in the end. You can get the starter file from the link in the description. It is completely free. Let's start with the camera shots. There are a lot of camera shots used in cinematography. To achieve good results, we are going to use real life reference. Here is an example of a camera shot, the extreme close up. This shot is good for showing some details, like I did in this render. To achieve close up shots, increase the focal length. Or you can find these predefined cameras in my free cinematic starter pack, which adds cameras without changing any settings. For this render, we are going with a wide shot because we want to show the extreme weather condition environment. And wide shot is perfect for that. To achieve it, just simply drag a wide shot camera from my asset library. Or you can do that manually by changing the focal length of the camera to something like 30. And you are done. Let's talk about the camera angles. Now, I am going to use this file and you can get this for free. Again, we are going to use movie references. There are a lot of cool shots. And for this scene, I think low angle shot is perfect for that. You can check out more references on this website. Simply just move the camera downwards and rotate it upwards like this. Let's use camera guides to make our composition better. You can enable it in the camera properties. You can use thirds and center your character. Let's talk about camera ratio. We are going to go with the cinematic ratio, which is 2.4 by one. Now this can be tricky, but it is simple. So when you divide 1920 by 800, you get 2.4, which means 2.4 by one pixel. So to get it in Blender, go in this tab and change the first value to 1920 and the second to 800. You will get these cool black bars with it. Now let's move on to the lighting. As we are doing outdoor lighting, we are not gonna use any area lights for the daylight. Instead, we are just going to experiment with high dynamic range images. You can get these for free on Polyhaven. I have used this snow forest one to light this scene and this one to light this scene. You can notice that there are cars in the background. What you can do is that use depth of field to hide it. I have talked more about it after this topic. The night scene is quite tricky as there is no texture to light the night scene. So for that, we are going to use a source such as fire or lamp. For this shot, I have used a fire simulation to create this jitter effect. But the light is too low, so I added in point light to add more light with the same color. The background was empty. So what I did is that I used the same fog environment and decreased its intensity in the background node, which gave this good result. Now that we have come so far, I would suggest you to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Now let's use depth of field to hide the background. If you are using the camera from the starter pack, then the depth of field settings will be set by default. You can copy these settings if you are not using my cinematic asset pack. Play with the distance. You can enable it in viewport by enabling this option. Decreasing f-stops will give more blur. Now, let's talk about 
the atmosphere down. We are going to use volume scatter trick. You can simply just drag this volumetric cube from my free starter pack. Or you can add a big cube and add a volume scatter node and change its density to something low. Increase the density if you need more foggy look, but it will take more time to render. You can add more depth to it by using snow or rain, but these are too hard to set up. Instead, get free videos like these. You can get these for free from websites like RenderCrate. Enable images as planes add in and import these videos. And when you play the animation, it will work. This is a great trick for static camera shots. You can also do the same in editing. I have talked more about that after this topic. Now let's move on to compositing. Open Compositor. Now if you have my starter pack, you can just use this node to do the work for you. More about that is in this video on top. But if you don't have it, here are some things you need to do. First, add Glare node. After that, add a Lens Distortion node to add distortion. Play with the settings. And you are done. This is just the basic, but you can use my predefined node group to make your life easy. Plus, it includes cool features like these. You can add cool effect after rendering it. Open the video editor, add your render by selecting this option, Add the snow video like this on top. You can simply set it to screen and reduce the opacity. You can do the same with any video editor like I have done this here. To export it in Blender, just type how many frames you have and select the location here Click Render Animation and there will be your final render. Finally, use sound effects to enhance your render as you can see the difference. You can get sound effects from free websites like Pixabay. I hope you have liked this video and you can download the project file for free by using the code EXTRA3D. Subscribe and follow me on Instagram. You can also support the channel by buying the premium version of this starter pack.